In today's video, we'll take a closer look at the 2023 edition of the number one best-selling eye cream in Korea, the Real Eye Cream for Face by AHC. Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If it's the first time you visit this channel, my name is Odile and I work in marketing and advertising in the Korean beauty industry. On this channel, I use my professional experience to bring you informative content on Korean beauty trends and history. So if you'd like to take your K-beauty knowledge to the next level, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. In today's video, we'll take a closer look at the 2023 edition of the number one best-selling eye cream in Korea, the Real Eye Cream for Face by AHC. AHC is marketed as a professional aesthetic skincare brand because originally the company used to make skincare products only for aesthetic clinics in Korea. Their most representative product is the Real Eye Cream for Face, an anti-aging eye cream that also doubles as a face moisturizer. AHC's Real Eye Cream for Face was first launched in 2012 and it was so successful with the general public that it quickly became known as Kunmin Eye Cream, an expression that roughly translates to Korea's national eye cream. The eye cream is reformulated every single year However, AHC continues selling all the previous versions, so if you find yourself liking a particular version, you can continue using it even if the product is reformulated. On my channel, I previously covered seasons 8, 9 and 10, and in today's video, I'll take you through the features of the new Ample in Eye Cream, which is season 11. Part 1. Formula the signature ingredient that earned the real eye cream for face a cult following is an innovative ingredient called Humacol 21. Humacol 21 is defined as a human-like collagen. It's a type of collagen developed through biotechnology that is identical to the one naturally produced by human skin. So when you apply it on your face, the skin recognizes it as its own, and this makes skin appear visibly more plump and elastic. Plus, it was also shown to stimulate the production of collagen, elastin and laminin. The ingredient was developed by an American biodesign company called Geltor. In 2019, Yumacol 21 was purchased by Colmar Korea which is the Korean cosmetic manufacturing company that helps AHC produce the real eye cream for face. Since 2019, every single version of the real eye cream for face has included Geltor's biodesigned collagen. So all these creams you see right here contain the same key ingredient. While the previous edition of the real eye cream for face contained three types of biodesigned human-like collagen, the new Ampullin eye cream was enriched with an additional type of collagen. First, there's collagen type 1, which is the type of collagen that is most abundant in the skin. Then collagen type 3, which is the type of collagen we lose the most as we grow old. Then collagen type 21, which is the type of collagen that is usually found in elastic tissues of the body. And for the first time, collagen type 4, a major component of the skin basement membrane, which is a part of the skin that acts as a glue between the epidermis and the dermis. In total, the most recent reformulation is said to contain 10 times the amount of active ingredients of the previous edition. Besides this new type of collagen, the new Ampullin eye cream was also enriched with new ingredients like ascorbic acid. And while the previous editions were known to contain countless types of peptides, Season 11 only contains one type of peptide, Matrixil, 
which is the peptide with the most scientific evidence of effectiveness at the moment. The new ampullin eye cream was also formulated with a new patented technology to improve the absorption of its active ingredients. At their natural state, collagen molecules are too big to penetrate the skin. So for the past few years, AHC has been working with Colmar Korea to develop technologies that would allow the collagen molecules to penetrate deeper into the skin. The new ampoule in eye cream in particular was formulated with a new patented double ultra-fine microtechnology that consists of two separate micronization processes. In the first phase, the cream is processed at a low temperature and at a low pressure, while in the second phase, the active components of the cream are concentrated using high temperature and high pressure. This new technology allows the premier and pollen eye cream to be six times more concentrated than the previous version, while sporting a thinner and more weightless texture. But, oh dear! Every time you talk about an innovative technology, the products you show are always super expensive. Then why is this eye cream so cheap? In marketing, we call this loss leader strategy. When AHC launched the real eye cream for face in 2012, the first eye creams in the franchise used to retail for around 50 American dollars. And despite the high price tag, the line was already doing really well for the company. So when the Unilever Group acquired AHC in 2017, they decided to capitalize on this popularity by turning the real eye cream for face into a loss leader. But what's a loss leader? A loss leader strategy is when a company offers a product or a service at a low price that is below the minimum profit margin. The goal of this strategy is to lure customers and get them to buy more expensive products. A prime example of a loss leader strategy are the two-for-one promotions that you see in supermarkets. Think about it. How many times did you visit a supermarket to buy only one thing but ended up working out with lots of other products just because they were on promotion? The same principle applies to the real eye cream for face. Even though you can find international websites where you can purchase only one eye cream, that's not where AHC makes money. Most of their revenue comes from selling this eye cream in big box on Korean home shopping channels. Home shopping? You mean like QVC? Yes. One of the main distribution channels of premium cosmetics in Korea are home shopping channels. Every year in December, the main home shopping channels in Korea share their top best sellers of the year, and AHC's real eye cream for face is always, always, always the top best seller in the beauty category. The thing about home shopping channels is that they don't sell only one product, but they sell big promotional sets of products. So even though AHC is selling the real eye cream for face at a loss, they make money by getting customers to buy more products. And that's what we call a loss leader strategy. If you'd like to be cynical about it, this strategy is probably the main reason why AHC sells so many units of this eye cream. But of course one could also argue that people wouldn't buy bags of 20 eye creams if it wasn't a good product. So, part 2. Applicator. For the new ampoule in eye cream, AHC decided to introduce a new applicator inspired by the history of the brand. The applicator is shaped as a fingertip, and it's meant to reproduce the feel of a professional massage. Obviously, you can apply the eye cream however you wish. The application method doesn't really affect the effectiveness of the product, but I still find that the new applicator is a nice touch for those days when you feel like treating yourself to a home spa facial. Part 3. 
texture and performance. The new Ampolin Eye Cream is a peculiar texture that looks very thick and dense when you dispense it on your hand. So I was expecting this eye cream to be very rich and nourishing, but that's not the case. When I first spread this eye cream, I was instantly impressed by its luscious, silky smooth consistency. There's almost no oiliness to the formula, and yet the eye cream leaves the skin extremely soft and silky to the touch. Out of all the eye creams in the franchise, this is the one with the best softening properties. I used it every day for a little over two months, and one of the very first things I noticed is that when I apply this eye cream in the evening, I always wake up with baby soft skin, and my under eye area looks well rested and vibrant. Like all eye creams in this franchise, the Premier Ampolin Eye Cream contains fragrance. However, I must say that compared to the previous editions, this time the fragrance is a lot more subtle. It's a light honey fragrance that is not too sweet, not too artificial, a bit generic maybe, but overall really inoffensive. That was all for today. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe for more informative content on Korean beauty. See you next time. Bye!